lease payments on a circumstance that was changed by the city. And that was my uh, primary premise for the uh, for uh, not paying the rent. Are there any questions of the speaker, Madam President? Thank you. Um, I happen to serve on the parking utility board as uh, uh, Council Member Schwantz, and um, our understanding, and I know as I've driven through, you're talking about the ramp that has the housing on top of it? And no. No, this is 3rd and J. This is the one. Uh, uh, the it's one kitty corner to Grand River Station. So it's the center parking ramp. It, it's the lacrosse center one you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, well that one has been, um, yeah, I would agree that many days, depending on what's going on in the lacrosse center too, that, it, that that is frequently used. But the other one is only a block away in the other direction. And... Um, in retail retail uh, users, and I pardon for interruption, they they look at immediate parking for their customers. That was not that's, we we would say that to them, but that was not an option. But did you drive them through it? Oh, we took them throughout the whole uh, the whole area because street parking really is you know something that they considered as well. Uh, that's remote parking to them, just in their mindset. That's the retail mindset. But you didn't take them there. Oh yes, we took them there as well. But through and you drove through it. Uh, we, and walked, sure them. we walked it, yeah, we walked the area. Um, but the third and J is the one that we were concentrating on. That is their, that is their parking space. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. thought that that ramp, since it was full during the construction of the other ramp, uh, and that was, all we're talking about is January to August. We're not talking about any other period. January to August when that ramp is being built, that's what we were talking about. And we were just asking for an equitable discount, or I was asking for an abatement or a discount we're willing to discuss it um, on the amount of rent that was charged uh, during that time under the master lease. It's about five thousand dollars a month. Thank you, uh, Councilman Schwantz. Thank you, uh, Chair. Uh, Ted, I, I, I agree. I mean, I, I, I'm on the board of Public Works, and and you and I have been at many meetings over the transit center. And Quite frankly, it's been a pretty good partnership, and uh, your firm has been understanding and flexible, and uh, it all came together as a really great project. My question, that's the thing I, I don't quite understand, is weren't you or, or your firm aware of the issues down there in terms of parking when you entered into the agreement? No question, we were, and we were um, we were aware of a new ramp being constructed. We weren't aware of the fact that displaced parkers would come into our ramp. We weren't aware of that situation, and that that was that never entered our mind. So you're saying that this the uh, the civic center ramp, for lack of a better term, uh, that's the one we're talking about here, and and. It filled up faster than you thought it would while that while the center was being constructed. Is that what the point here? Uh, no, I, I think I'm not exactly sure what you said there. When the ramp, when the um, and I'm not sure the name, but the new ramp that was just built. Correct. When it was constructed, uh, we knew there was a ramp. Uh, I have to say I, I heard there was a ramp that was going to be built uh, in 2010. I heard that I signed the agreement in 2009, but you know I wasn't really worried about it. Actually, I, I, I welcomed it. I thought it was a great idea. Right. Um, the issue became that when that ramp started construction, the ramp on 3rd and J, kitty corner to our building, filled up. Because all the surface parking was taken away. Exactly. Right. And, and, and I thought that was a condition that was created by a city, quasi-city project. It was a developer that's actually selling it to the city, but it was a city plan project. Um, and it adversely affected my ability, I thought, greatly to lease the space because every tenant would use that as the primary issue as to not to have a second discussion. What, uh, you said you were looking for a dollar amount. Uh, what dollar amount were you looking for in forgiveness? Well, I was looking for an abatement in January, um, but, you know, I would, I'd like to just enter a discussion as to um, you know, 50% off, something of that nature, where it was an acknowledgement that, and, and, and the issue is, I don't need a forbearance agreement. I, I'll pay it tomorrow. <laughs> um, it's 
not it's not an issue of I need I need a, uh, a payment plan. Um, it's just an issue that I think out of principle um, I'd like to have uh, some kind of acknowledgement or a discount on, on the mass release because there's a lot of other out of school still lease that space which I'm not complaining about but uh, with that added on it just seemed like it was uh, a very high order. Um, so. Uh, 50% off of the rent, I would, I would consider as a, as a good faith uh, discount. Thank you. If we were, I, I'll preface this with my understanding is that one of the obstacles to renting is that uh, the spaces are unfinished at this stage, and um, which is fairly normal practice. But um, if, and I'm not saying we will, just if, we were to uh, work some kind of a deal with you in relation to mitigation or abatement or whatever. Um, would you be willing to use that in, to at least do preliminary finish to so that the the spaces whoever is moving in wouldn't need to do quite as much as in its current raw state. I'm glad you brought that up. No, we've actually um, escrowed funds. We've reserved funds for this purpose. Uh, the issue isn't building out, it's who we build out for. Um, I, I'll, I'd love to start building out for somebody if they would lease the space, but we have never gotten to a second discussion. The only one that we had was a Chinese restaurant that demanded you know, 100 reserved spaces in that lot for free, um, which is a pretty unreasonable request. It never went anywhere. Uh, that was the only one that we went to the next level. So uh, it's, that's not the issue. We're, we're definitely ready to start building out. You know, uh, the issue is we've never really gotten to that second phase of we really want to be here. Now we have three tenants right now that we met in March, uh, June and July respectively, that said when, you know, we will start talking to you once everything okay, clears we're, up. We're heading beyond where we're yeah, that, that, where that, we need to be. So it's, it, it, money's it's, not an issue for the bill. Right. Is there any more questions? Regarding the, the background. If not, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Can we get a motion to close public hearings? All in favor say aye. We're in an unclosed session. All right.